Hi everybody, Tina here. Welcome to my new series, the Spring Sculpting Series. As the name suggests, it's all about sculpting the muscles and getting them long and strong, because that's what Ballelares is all about. Today we'll be working on the inner thighs. And before I forget, please subscribe to my channel to see the rest of this series and a lot more to come. And also, if you like it, share it with your friends. Let's get started. So we're just going to start coming down to our back. So just reach your arms forward and roll down to your back, nice and slow. Arms out to the side. Stretch your legs out. And so we're going to start warming up the inner thighs. Pull in your stomach to begin with, and then you're going to inhale and then you're going to move your your keep your toes pointed move your feet up towards the buttocks and then you're going to exhale and then you flex your feet push the floor away point your feet as you come to the end so as when your legs are stretched out so moving your toes up to your body exhale flex your feet heel sliding with the floor and you inhale and exhale, flex, stretch your legs, point your toes, inhale, exhale, flex, stretch your legs, point your toes. So just continue here, four more, exhale, point, three, flex, exhale, and point, two, flex, stretch, and point and the last one flex stretch and point for the next exercise you're going to come up onto your elbows here legs into butterfly position and there they're gonna stay so heels are lifted toes are in the floor stomach is pulled in as always so we're just going to start stretching one leg out up down and return, other leg, stretching it, lift, lower, and return. Exhale, inhale, and return. Exhale, lift, inhale, return. So think about keeping your, your head lifted. You should look in front of you, and the head should be resting on your shoulders. So be careful that you're not here in the back but that you are proper lifted in the in your body here in the upper body so just going to show you what not to do because we're going to do a few more exercises in this position so don't be down here don't have your arms in here make sure that your elbows are straight under your shoulders and the head is lifted stacked on top of your shoulders okay we're going to do two more to each side up down and return exhale and inhale exhale and inhale and the last one exhale and inhale return good so for the next exercise you're going to stretch your leg lift it up keep your your foot pointed out to the side and then you're going to open your leg to the side lift it up and lower your leg return to starting position other side stretch your leg lift it up drop your leg to the side lift it up lower your leg and return exhale inhale exhale inhale return and exhale lift inhale drop exhale lift inhale return just keep going here Doing a few more to each side here. Doing the last two to each side. Drop it out to the side. Lift it up, lower your leg, return. Stretch your leg. Lift the max you can, drop it to the side. Lift it up, lower, return. Last one to each side, up. Drop your leg, lift. Lower, return, stretch your leg, lift, drop, lift, lower, and return. We're going to do another variation of this one here. So you're going to stretch your leg to the side this time first. Then you lift it up, 
drop it to the side and return for the leg stretch your leg lift drop it to the side and return up to the side up out to the side and return out to the side and up out to the side return just keep going here exhale as you lift inhale as you lower exhale as you lift inhale and return doing three more to each side five four three two and the last one and return stretch your legs out here and slowly come down to your back good so you're going to lift your legs up to 90 degrees here and so we're going to open your legs so the feet are pointed out to the side heels together from the beginning and then you're going to drop and then you're going to crisscross so once the right foot goes in front open and then you cross again this time right foot goes behind so just crisscrossing at the top open with power exhale close inhale open exhale close just keep going here making sure that your core is always tensed your low back is in the floor pelvic floor is lifted all of these things are really important to make sure that you keep your core strong and that you protect your your whole spine here so we're going to do eight seven six five four three two and one so we're going to this time open and then we're going to crisscross open criss cross open so you're going to to do two crosses up there so the first time let's say we do the right in front right behind open then we do the left in front left behind and open right in front back open left and open right open so just keep swapping which foot is in front gives you a bit of a brain gymnastics too which is always a good thing keeping your brain nice and alert throughout the whole exercise program making sure that you still keep your low back in the floor here and cross at the ankles you're not crossing at the knees you're just crossing those ankles doing last eight seven six five four three two and the last one open close and then we're going to bend your knees grab the outside of your feet if you cannot reach the outside of your feet grab the outside of your ankle here at the same time you try to push your knees away from each other with the help of your elbows here and you're moving your knees down towards the floor so they're moving out to the side and down to the floor inhale deep and exhale one more time inhale deep and exhale so you're grabbing your your big toes or the inside of your feet if you have socks on good so you're going to to then stretch one leg at a time here stretch one leg out and bend it back stretch the other leg out and bend it back if this just not doesn't feel comfortable at all you can just stay in a happy baby pose so just stay in this pose otherwise we're just going to do the last one stretching your leg out and bend so you're going to let go of your feet just 
lift your legs up for a moment here and then you're going to open your legs so you're either going to grab your thighs hands on your thighs or hands on your cal uh, on your calves you're not allowed to have your hands on top of the knee joint never have it on top of the joint so depending on where your flexibility is you're going to either press your thighs or calves helping your you to open your legs here so now you're going to press legs against your hands and you're going to count to four three press two one and then you slowly release and you open with your hands so now your hands are pressing your legs down inhale and exhale try to cleanse your buttocks here so really help opening your legs using your buttocks as well so we're going to do it again, pressing with your legs against your hands. So you want to close your legs here, but your hands are preventing that. So four, three, two, one, release. Clench your buttocks now. Use your, your glutes to help opening your legs and stretch your inner thighs here. Inhale and exhale. And last time, press. Four, three, two one release use your buttocks open your legs from from each other here inhale and exhale flex your feet inhale and exhale so we're going to do one now with the feet flexed just one so you're pressing close your uh, your, your legs here <laughs> feet together prevent it with your hands press four three two one and slowly opening release use your buttocks again open your legs inhale and exhale one more time inhale and exhale slowly point your feet see if you can let go with your hands and close your legs with the strength of your inner thighs so you're going to do one strengthening exercise more in this position here so you're going to make four circles to the outside with your legs as you open your legs so looking like this one circle two circles three and four and then as you're returning now you're now making the circles in the opposite direction towards the inside so one two three four your legs should be closed now open two three four close two three four open circle two three four circle to the inside one two three four and out two three four and in two three four out two three four and in two three four making sure that you keep your low back in the floor pelvic floor is lifted knees stretched last two out two three four in two three four out two three four and in two three Four. and hug your knees in for a moment here inhale deep flex your feet exhale and point inhale and flex exhale point holding on behind your your knees make an impulse to sit up so we're going to come out to the splits so this is again individual you always just open the max you can and it doesn't matter how much you open you just do your best so coming out here one thing that i like to do is i'm going to help like i'm going to open the inner thighs with the help of the buttocks open the inner thighs just with my hand here in front just helping to come a little bit forward but keeping all the muscles active here as i move forward so you just go to your max and there you stay hands behind so they're just like on top of each other, behind your back. And then you're going to come to one side, inhale, exhale up. And then you come forward, careful that you don't fall, 
and exhale up and over to the other side inhale to the side exhale up and you start again inhale exhale lift inhale coming forward exhale up inhale to the other side and exhale up keep going here coming as much as you can to the side slowly lift as much as you can coming forward just remember you have to be able to lift again and to the side and lift and one more time over and up forward and up over to the other side and up so you're going to start to the side that we just came from over and up forward and up other side and up and we're doing it again up forward up and to the side up last time over up coming forward back up to the other side and lift so now you're going to walk your hands forward so think about getting your stomach you should have your sit bones on the floor here and you're going to move your stomach and your chest down towards the floor just move as far as you can hold it for a moment here inhale deep and exhale inhale and then you exhale you try to come a little bit further inhale and exhale every exhale you can try to go a little bit further down try to keep your knees pointing up towards the ceiling and your feet as well slowly coming down inhale and exhale last respiration here inhale move your hands out to the side and exhale one more respiration inhale and exhale moving your hands back help with your hands to sit up again and it doesn't matter how low you went there you just do uh, your max come down as far as you can so we're going to try one last thing here and it might be too much and if it's too much you just stay here in this position but what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to come up either on your hands or on your elbows. Coming forward here, I'd like to start on my hands and then I'm going to move up. And this time you have your, your, the inside of the feet to the floor and you're just going to stay for a few breaths here. Inhale and exhale. And you can be up on your hands if you need to. Inhale and exhale last time inhale just coming down to the floor and exhale slowly push your hands up walk them back come back to sitting and just in the end just going to do one feel good as that was quite a deep stretch moving one knee to the middle and the other knee one, one knee to the middle and the other knee two more and the last one and that was everything I had planned for you today I hope that you enjoyed this program we definitely really got some sculpting of the inner thighs here working them very hard and stretching them very deeply I hope that you enjoyed it and that you're going to come back for the rest of the series. See you next time. Bye bye.